Here's problem 24.12. A 5 nanocoulomb point charge is embedded at the center of a non-conducting sphere, radius of 2 centimeters, which has a charge of minus 8 nanocoulombs distributed uniformly throughout its volume. What is the magnitude of the electric field at a point that is 1 centimeter from the center of the sphere? Let's try and envision what we have here. Set up a uh, two-dimensional coordinate system and we'll divide it into centimeters here and at the center of this I've got one charge let's actually put that in red and the value of that charge is Q1 equal to 5 nanocombs positive and then I've got um, a distribution of charge in a sphere of radius 2 centimeters. So we've got a distribution of charge in some radius of 2 centimeters. So this is all filled with consistent charge. And the value of that charge, let's call it Q2, is equal to negative 8 nanocombs. We want to find the electric field at some point P which is located at x equal 1 centimeter. So I'm going to use green on that. Located at x equal 1 centimeter, this, that's my point P. Alright, to, to deal with this problem, what we need to do is kind of use the principle of superposition. Look at each of these contributions, one from the point charge at the center and one from the distribution of charge and find the electric field due to each of those and then superimpose them together. In this case we actually have uh, a way to make this problem simpler. We can imagine from this distribution of charge that only that charge that is within the radius of the point that we're considering is going to contribute to the electric field at that point. The reason being that if I were to create a Gaussian surface of radius one centimeter which includes the point on that, on that surface, then all the uh, charge that's outside of that surface, this charge that's in this region right here, is going to create flux that goes into that surface but eventually comes out. So it, it basically will be external charge to that surface and will not contribute to the electric field at that particular point. So we need to concern ourselves only with that charge that is distributed within the sphere of the radius one centimeter, which is up to that point. So we need to find what that charge is. And since this distribution of charge is uniform all the way through, then the value of this charge on this sphere, this inner sphere, which I'm going to call Q2 prime, is going to be equal to the fraction of the overall charge available which is minus 8 nanocoulombs. So that charge is going to be related to the volume compared to the total volume because it's a it's a constant distribution of charge. So basically what we're saying is Q2 prime is going to equal the fraction of its volume to the total volume which would be uh, 4 thirds pi r1 cubed to the total volume which is um, 4 thirds pi r2 cubed times q2. In other words, we're grabbing that fraction of that total charge. Now as we look at this, the 4 thirds pi will cancel out and, and we'll simply have the q2 prime is equal to r1 divided by r2 times q2. In other words, uh, R1 divided by R2 cubed times Q2. So this Q2 prime, as we've drawn it, is going to be equal to R1, which is 1 centimeter, divided by R2, which is 2 centimeters, that cubed times a negative 8 nanocombs. So this is going to be equal to 1 over 2 cubed times a negative 8, which is simply going to be a negative 8 nanocombs over 8, or a 
negative 1 nanocoulomb. So essentially the amount of charges within that sphere is represented by negative 1 nanocoulomb. And if we're within that sphere, just on the edge of it, it's acting essentially like a point charge if we're at that point. So uh, this distribution of charge will act like a point charge located at the center of that distribution, which is at the same point where the other charge exists. So we essentially have two point charges for our total charge in this problem. Our total charge then will be equal to Q1 plus Q2 prime, and that's going to be 5 nanocoulombs plus a negative 1 nanocoulombs, which will be 4 nanocoulombs. And now the E field that exists at point P is going to be an E field that essentially is similar to a point charge of value 4 nanocoulombs. That E field is going to be equal to a point charge, KQ over R squared, which is going to be 9 times 10 to the 9 times 4 nanocoulombs, 4 times 10 to the minus 9, over, and, and then um, our distance from those point charges at the center of this origin is going to be the value of um, r to that point, which is 1 centimeter. So that's going to be 0 0.01, and then we'll square that. In this, the 10 to the 9 and the 10 to the minus 9 will cancel out, and we'll end up with 36 divided by 0 0.01 squared so that is going to give me 36 times 10 to the 4 newtons per coulomb or I could say this is 3.6 times 10 to the 5 newtons per coulomb as I've drawn it, it would be Rayleigh outward from the center of the sphere. We, I drew it at x equal 1, so this E field would be going outward like this, a value of 3.6 times 10 to the 5 newtons per coulomb.